everyone. Welcome back to Marks and Parks with Brennan. We're back in the beautiful state of Utah and we'll be visiting Monument Valley today. The drive from Colorado to Utah was another bumpy one for much of the way. Our things in the camper really get bounced around on these bumpy roads, so we're always hopeful for a smooth ride. Mom had read that the best campground in the area was Golding's RV Park, so that's where we had our reservations. It was a beautiful area, and we were really excited to camp there. I was especially excited about the indoor pool. It had turned too cool for me to swim outside, so I planned to make good use of the pool. Unfortunately, when mom and dad woke up early to teach their classes for VIP kid, the Wi-Fi wasn't stable enough and their cell signals were not much better. They had technical issues all morning, so we had to find another campground. I didn't even get to check out the pool and they were really bummed about leaving the beautiful area. However, if they don't teach, we don't travel. We moved to a campground about an hour away in Monticello, Utah called Mountain View RV. It was much smaller and there was no indoor pool, but it had great Wi-Fi and cell service, so we spent a couple of nights there and drove back to explore Monument Valley. We really wanted to see it because it is said to be one of the most photographed places on Earth. The rock formations are all sandstone and have been sculpted over time through weathering and erosion. There are mesas, buttes, and a desert environment that make it one of the wonders of our world. If you don't know the difference between mesas and buttes, they're both flat raised areas of land, but a butte is taller than it is wide. Mesas are much larger and less elevated than buttes. back to Monument Valley, the scenery was magnificent. Before arriving, Dad was super excited to see the spot where Fort Gump stopped running. I wasn't sure what all the excitement was about, but both he and Mom got in the middle of the road for pictures. At this park, we were not able to use our America the Beautiful Pass. Monument Valley is not a part of the National Park System, but instead is a Navajo Tribal Park. The cool thing is that they still offer the Junior Ranger program, so we went to the visitor center to pick up a booklet. We also toured the gift shop in the museum area. When we stepped outside of the gift shop, the view was amazing. It's actually called John Wayne Point because it is said to be his favorite view of the valley. Did you know that several Western movies have been filmed in the area? Five of John Wayne's movies were filmed there. I bet my pa has seen them all. 
We had to hang out for a bit because it was just so stunning. taking lots of photos, we decided to make our way around the loop. We had heard that it was a bit of a rough ride. We had no idea just how rough it was. to take some pictures of the mittens. Next was the Elephant Butte and Three Sisters. After that was my favorite stop of the drive. I really liked John Ford's Point. We spent some time here exploring and getting pictures. Dad was really brave and sat on on the edge with his feet dangling. That really made Mom nervous. There was also a pretty horse in the area. If you were willing to pay $5, the man would ride the horse out on the point and pose for pictures. Unfortunately, my parents never have cash, so we didn't get to see it. seeing Camel Butte, Totem Pole, Artist Point, The North Window, and The Thumb. They were all truly amazing features of the valley. After we finished the loop, we returned to the visitor center to turn in my junior ranger packet. I took the oath and received my badge. There was a lady standing behind us who was actually in tears. She didn't know about junior rangers and she thought it was a wonderful program. I was happy to add another badge to my collection. watching my video, remember to subscribe and click the notifications bell. See you at Arches National Park in our next video.